Hello friends. Today we have another suggested video and we will update all your suggestions very soon it's our promise. You can add any more of your suggestions in our comment box and we will certainly do videos on them. Hope you all enjoys and these videos help you all a lot. Comment us your experience of writing exams after watching these videos. This is the answer of another essay question of S1 Botany which is one of the sure choice you can hope. Anomalous secondary thickening in Dracaena in plants the growth in length of the stem and its branches primary growth. The increase in diameter of axis as a result of the activities of lateral meristem. Secondary growth. Monocots and some herbaceous dicots possess only primary growth. Gymnosperms and woody dicots also possess secondary growth along with primary. Monocot stems and roots generally do not undergo secondary growth due to the absence of cambium. Secondary growth in monocots. Monocots generally to do not undergo secondary thickening because of the closed vascular bundles due to absence of cambium. In some families like Liliaceae, Amaryllidaceae, secondary growth, anomalous in origin and function occurs. This secondary growth is the result of the formation of special meristematic tissue called secondary cambium which develops from the inner cortical cells. Secondary thickening in Dracaena. Dracaena. Family. Liliaceae of monocots. Young stem. Has typical structure with epidermis. Hypodermis and numeral. Collateral closed vascular bundles. Embedded in parenchymates ground. Tissue. The formation of special multilayered. Secondary cambium which develops in the inner region of parenchymates cortex. Cortex region of stem which has stopped. Elongation is the beginning stage of process of secondary growth in Dracaena. The cells of secondary cambium. Rectangular. Fusiform or with one end. Flattened and the other end pointed. The activity of which is abnormal. Secondary cambium cuts off. Parenchymates cells outwards and. Cells partly vascular in nature. Towards inside. The parenchyma cells cut off. Soon. Undergoes linification and becomes. Conjunctive tissue. The partly vascular cells. Becomes. The single cambial initial which functions. As vascular bundle initial and develops the secondary vascular bundles. Secondary vascular bundle undergoes two successive anticlinal divisions and periclinal divisions respectively to form two to three rows of cells in its peripherals. The further irregular divisioning of these cells result in the formation of phloem. At center surrounding with peripheral xylem elements. Note as above, the group of vascular bundles with central group of phloem. Surrounded by xylem is called amphibosyl vascular bundle. The cambium now cuts off more parenchyma cells towards inside which makes the pushing of newly formed vascular bundles to the center. Characters of animality. Formation of secondary cambium. Secondary cambium cuts off secondary vascular bundles on its inner side only. Amphibosyl vascular bundle in contrast to primary bundles. The cambium ceases its function after a short period. Here is the diagram that you can draw in your exams. This shows the diagram of the detailed section of anomalous secondary thickening in Dracaena for more information. It is not necessary to draw this in your exam because it is a time-wasting process and if you have some excess time add this too. Thank you all for your support and cooperation please like, share, comment and subscribe us for more videos. Please note that all of your s suggested veto will be updated very soon.